Over the last few months, I have slowly tried adding more security monitoring around my home. And one area that I've put off for a while is under my deck where I store leftover wood, solar panels, and other miscellaneous items. The technology for security cameras has really improved over the years and the price for security cameras has come down and they are more affordable for DIYers like you and me. As many of you know, having a security camera system has many benefits such as helping law enforcement, peace of mind while away, deterring criminals, and insurance benefits. In my opinion, no matter where you live, you never know when your property may be the next target for a criminal. For this security camera install, I wanted to attempt to tie it into my current 100 watt solar system that charges a 12 volt 35 amp hour battery that I primarily use to control my water pump connected to my rain barrel watering system. If you want to learn more about how I set up my solar system, I'll leave a link in the description below. The camera I decided to use for this install was the WiseCam version 3, which is a Wi-Fi indoor and outdoor camera. Wise is not sponsoring this video, but I've had a pretty good experience with their cameras so far, and I like that their cameras are low cost and I do not have to pay a monthly fee to access the camera live stream from my cell phone. Also, from my testing, the Wise camera only draws 2 watts of power, which means I do not need a large solar panel and battery system to power this camera 24-7. Anyway, enough talking, let's grab our tools and get started. Now, it's worth pointing out that the Wise Cam does include its own hardware for mounting the camera, but I decided to use a screw that I felt was a little stronger, but either method would probably work just fine. This was just a personal preference. Next, I pre-drilled the screw hole to ease the screwing process. Next, I needed to install a cable gland into my solar enclosure since I planned on powering the wise cam using my solar charge controller's load connection. Also, if you enjoy these videos or find them useful, please smash that like button to help encourage YouTube to share these videos with others who may find it helpful and it also supports this channel. Once the cable gland was installed, I could then pass my micro USB cable through it, which is included with the wise cam. I next went ahead and plugged the power cable into the wise camera to make the next part of fastening the cable down to the wood structure a little easier. I used 1 4 inch cable clamps and some exterior wood screws to help hold the micro USB cable in place. If I could do this step again, I would try to shop around for a slightly smaller clamp that would grip onto the cable a little better so there is not as much room for the cable to move around, but these will still get the job done. Once my USB cable was fully clamped down, I turned off the power to my solar enclosure box to begin installing my 12 volt DC to USB converter. So in other words, since my solar system setup did not include a port to plug in USB powered devices such as my WISE camera, I needed to install a device that converts my battery's 12 volt power to 5 volts which is what most USB ports are rated for. Note, some charge controllers come with USB ports built in and this step may not be necessary for you if you are working on a similar application. I will leave a link to an affordable charge controller that has this built in and this DC converter for those who may be interested. <laughs> 
To prevent from discharging my battery further than what's recommended, I will be wiring this DC converter to my solar charge controller's built-in low connection terminals. So in other words, if my charge controller detects that my battery is discharged too low, it would automatically disconnect my WISE camera from the system to help protect my battery. Most charge controllers these days have this feature built in, and you could also wire this DC converter directly to your battery, but you could reduce the life of your battery if you did not size your solar system properly based on what devices you are powering. Once everything was wired and connected, I reconnected power to my solar system. I was happy to see that my WISE camera powered up correctly. Now, I've already gone through the WiseCam cell phone app setup process to keep this video as short as possible, but the process is extremely easy. In summary, you will need to download the Wise app on your smartphone, power up the Wise camera, press and hold the setup button underneath the camera head until you hear the words ready to connect. Ready to connect. Select in the app what non-5G Wi-Fi network you want the camera to use. Let the camera scan the QR code shown on the Wise app, assign the Wise camera a nickname, and then you're done. It literally takes less than two minutes to set up. Once the camera was assigned to my WISE account, I could access it from my phone and start to adjust the camera position if needed. As you can see, the camera is already tracking my movement, which is pretty cool. Once the camera was positioned where I want it, I enabled and tested camera notifications so that if motion is detected, WISE will alert me on my phone. Next, I wanted to check the nighttime view on the camera and verify that I will be able to clearly identify if there was motion in the area and how visible everything was. I was quite impressed with the video quality for such a cheap camera. Also, note that there are no external lights turned on right now. Instead, the WISE camera is using its built-in infrared light sensors. Overall, this was a really fun project and a project that motivated me to find other things I could potentially power off this solar system. If you are looking into solar and thinking about doing something similar, but not sure if you have a large enough solar panel or battery to power your devices, I will try to leave some helpful links in the description that will hopefully give you a general idea. Lastly, if you found this video helpful or think others may find this video useful, don't forget to press that like button to encourage YouTube to share this video with others and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.